Hey guys, it's Shannon. Thanks for joining me today. So I have done a lot of hauls and recently I did a huge coloring book haul and you can go check out that video if you're interested. But today I thought it would be fun to kind of show you some of the completed coloring pages I have done. Now I have not colored a whole lot recently because I've been kind of addicted to diamond painting, but I am still coloring and I have a ton of books here containing pictures that I have never shown on the channel yet. And they're pictures that I've completed. So I thought, hey, why not show them to you? So I'm gonna go ahead and move this stacked over here. And then we're just gonna go ahead and take a look. So like I said, all the pictures I'm gonna show you today, I have not shown on the channel yet. So this will be the first time. There may be other pictures colored in the books and those are pictures that I have shown before. So I will not be showing those again today. So let's just go ahead and get started because there are a ton and some of these go back quite a ways. <laughs> like this one right here, I colored in April, but you know, it, it is what it is. Um, like I said, it has been a little while, but I have still been coloring and I wanted to go ahead and share these. So this one, um, sorry, this book is Enchanted Faces by Hannah Lynn. This one right here has some Jelly Roll, the sparkle, like glitter pen on her wings. And let's see, are we gonna be, yeah, it's just cause it's a small book. I wanted to see if I needed to zoom in. Okay, next I have this one right here. And she has some sparkle gel pen on her earrings and the ties of her bathing suit, like the little straps here. She was a lot of fun to do. And then I have this one. So in this book, I, I really like to work with markers. Uh, it's just a lot of fun. I use the, oh gosh, what brand are they? They might be who? Hoo hoo something, hoo 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 roos, heroes, something from Amazon. They're just an alcohol based marker. They were really inexpensive and they color great. So that's what I have in that book. Next up, I have a Tokidoki coloring book. There are a few in here. So here is the first one. And I did this entire page with glitter gel pens. I'm not sure if the light is picking up or not, but it is super sparkly and shiny. And I just love Tokidoki. You know that we um, open the toys all the time on our toy channel. So here's another one. Gosh, this one's back from October of last year. <laughs> I haven't done one of these videos in a long time, guys. I'm gonna try to do them more often now going forward. But so there's that one. Again, all glitter gel pens. And then I think I have, oh, this one's a work in progress. So my little cat paw ones mean a work in progress. Okay, next up, the Princess Coloring Book by Jade Summer. I have this one right here. And it's just Rapunzel. So let's see, I am gonna go ahead, sorry it's shaking. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. There we go. So that one was a lot of fun to do. That is a really cute coloring book. Next up is Maui Mermaids. You know what, I am gonna have to zoom back out so you can see the whole book. Maui Mermaids and Island Whimsy Girls by Hannah Lynn. I have this one right here. So this one was done with colored pencils and I believe it was Prismacolors. Next up is Fairy Merry Christmas by Deborah Moeller. And I have two in here. Here is my first one. I absolutely love the way she turned out. So this is with Prismacolors and then the background is either Sharpie marker, here, let me look. Yep, it's Sharpie marker, see? <laughs> um, sometimes I use just like a Crayola marker, but that one was done with Sharpie and she is just so cute. Like I said, I really am happy with the way that one came out. And then the next one is almost the same color scheme, <laughs> but I have this one right here again, I think Sharpie, yes, a Sharpie background. And I used metallic gold gel pen for the dots in the background. All right, I'm trying to keep my little 
stack of tabs here so I can use <laughs> going forward. All right, next up is Whimsical Wonders by Julia Speary. I think is how you say it. This book is adorable. I love the paper in this book. It's just amazing. So I have this one right here. And this was all Prismacolors. And I think that one turned out really cute. And then I have this one right here. Again, Prismacolors. This is actually the first one I colored in this book. I really love the way the cherries turned out with the shading. Um, so I was really happy with that one. Okay, Vampires Grayscale Edition by Jade Summer. I have several in here. Here's my first one, and this is the cover girl right there. So um, I left her white and red. I think that one turned out really well. And I have this one right here. This was actually the first one I did in this book. This was all Prismacolor pencils. Um, I actually, this is the first picture I colored in our new house. We didn't even have any furniture or anything yet. I sat at our kitchen island and colored this. I had this book in my pencils. <laughs> so this one will always be special to me um, just because I remember that. And it was a lot of fun to color. Okay, I also colored this girl right here. I think she came out amazing. Um, the only thing I would have changed is instead of doing this background brown, I probably would have picked a color that was a little bit different from her hair color just to make her hair stand out more. But overall, I'm still really happy with this picture. And then last is this one right here. This has some glitter gel pen and some metallic gel pen for accents. Um, I just, I really like the way that one turned out as well. So that is a fun book. Little Sweethearts by Deborah Moeller. I have one in here and it's just super simple. I really like using markers in these books. I actually use Sharpies or Bic markets a lot in these books. And this one is really cute. I like her little bear slippers. Next up. Oh, wait, that just has a work in progress. <laughs> My little kitty paws, work in progress stickers. I guess I can go ahead and show you since I have it here. All I've colored so far is part of this door. But you don't want to see the works in progress. Why do I have all the works in progress here? That's another book with a work in progress. There's, <laughs> that's all I have done so far. Okay, they should have only been completed. Jasmine Beckett Griffith Halloween coloring book. I did Autumn is my last chance. I am so happy with the way this one turned out. I love the colors I chose. I like the blue marker background and I just, I really like her. I like the way I did her skin tone too. Winter Wonderland Zen Doodle Coloring by Jody Best. I have one in here and it's this tree with the little birdhouse and cardinals or kind of cardinals, <laughs> red birds. Um, I did put some silver gel pen as like the little snowdrops in the sky and coming down in front of the tree. And this tree was actually done with the Koei Noir Tritone pencils. So I didn't have to do any shading. I just used the pencil as is and I think it turned out really well. Animal Quest Christmas by Sun Life Drawing. Um, I have a work in progress in this book, but I also have a completed. My completed is right here. It's this beautiful Labrador puppy with a little Santa hat. How adorable is that? This was a lot of fun to color. I'm really looking forward to coloring the rest in here. And I found out that they have a whole bunch of other books. So I'm definitely interested in getting more of these because it was so much fun. Okay, kind of on the same note, this is Mystery Mosaics, book five. I have one done in here, and this is another color by number book. I have this pirate with his bird. I think it came out really well. I 
just think it's awesome. Um, there's a whole bunch in here. There's even big two page spreads, but that's the first one I did. Again, a lot of fun. Now this one, actually the entire book is completed. So I'm just gonna flip really fast because I have shown some of the pictures on the channel before, but I haven't shown all of them. And I figure since it's completed, we're just going to go ahead and flip through and look at all of the pictures. This was a fun book to color too. I used pencils, I used alcohol markers, I used Sharpies, I used gel pens. I pretty much used everything in this book. Some of the pictures are very simple, but you know, then some of them are just really, really pretty, detailed, cute. It was just fun. I like her. <laughs> She looks like she's ready to go to New York in the winter. Except she was gonna need something on her legs because it's cold in New York in the winter. So this is my first ever completed coloring book and I'm really proud of myself for completing one. So there we go, that was that book. Romantic Country, this is the first tale. I have a couple works in progress in here and I have one completed. Well, maybe it counts as two completed because it's a two page spread. So this is the chapter two, like introduction page. It's stories of castles. There is my castle. I'm not real thrilled with the colors I chose for the castle with the flowers, but I love the way I shaded the flowers and leaves down here. That was really my first time shading a lot and I think it came out really well. So I liked that one and I love these books. Romantic Country, The Third Tale. There's one completed. Again, it is a two page spread. It's just part of the story at the beginning of the book. And I used, oh, what are they? Um, why can't I think of them? All I can think of is Neo Colors and that's not it. Derwent, Derwent Ink Tense Watercolor Pencils. That's what I did this page with. Um, it, it's slightly buckled, just like ever so slightly buckled the pages. I don't mind that, but it was so much fun to do. So I'm probably gonna do more ink tents in that book. Next up is Sirena by Mardell Rubio. Here is the first one in this book. It's like super neon, super bright. It was a lot of fun. And I also have this one. So I think this one I did with the Zig uh, water brush pens, clean color. And this I did with the Derwent Ink Tense. Um, I love how vibrant this page is and I did use some glitter on her um, shelves. I don't know the name of this book. Did I write it down? Oh, Secretly and Happily, I think is what this gets translated to. I did this page right here. So this was kind of an experiment. I was using, um, this might have been ink tense pencils for the background. And then all this pink was the glaze pens by Jolly Roll. So they kind of have this interesting shiny and textured finish. And then I used gold metallic paint. Color it, blissful scenes. I have a lot in this book. So I have a work in progress and I have some completed. So here's my first completed. It's just the title page. I love using markers in this book. This paper is just so amazing for markers. Next up is this page. And what else do we have? We have this one with the little doggy. And there's my work in progress. I started doing a background and my Sharpie ran out of ink. And here's my last completed page in this book. Again, very bright. I actually did this entire page with Sharpie highlighters, which was a ton of fun. 
I have the Mandala Coloring Book by Jim Gogarty. Here's the first Mandala. This is just done in colored pencils. It's just really simple. It was a lot of fun to color. That's a work in progress. And then I have this Mandala, which is done all in glitter gel pens. So it's super shiny and awesome. Now I have a kid's coloring book just because, hey, why not? It's the Disney Princess Time to Sparkle coloring book. It's a huge color book, 320 pages. Unfortunately, it's just with that like normal kids coloring book paper, so it's not great quality, but I just used some pencils on it. I actually think I might've used Crayola colored pencils and I think it turned out really cute and it was just fun coloring Ariel. Misfits volume two, this is the zombie edition by White Stag. I love the Misfits stuff. So right here, I colored these little guys and then the Toxic Rainbow. So I decided to leave the unicorn very basic because I did the rainbow in all those glitter gel pens and I wanted that to stand out. Next up is Minerva. <laughs> I'm just reading the names from down here. She lost her head. <laughs> so I think she turned out cute too. And I have, this one is called Zipper. So I just, I love the like pastel or, you know, just kind of springy colors of her. I have Doodle Invasion by Kirby Rosans or Rosanis. I only have one in here. It's this one right here, the book with all the doodles springing forth from the book. And I think, yes, this was done with Sharpies. Junk Food, a totally yummy, 24 totally yummy coloring pages by Danny Cates. I have one in here, it's this little cupcake. I have The Night Before Christmas by John O'Brien. O'Brien, yeah. I have shown some of the others in here already before. This is a really fun book to color. It's actually kind of like this really, really dark grayscale, but when you add color to it, it just turns out really, really cool. I have the Pretty Princess Coloring Book by Teresa Goodridge. And I did the title page here. So there she is. There's some glitter gel pen on her tiara. We're almost there guys. Johanna Bassford Ivy and Inky Butterfly. I did the title page right here. And, oh, <laughs> I'm like, I didn't do that page. I did the next page, which is just this little like border. Another kid's book right here. I have Fairest of All from the Disney Princesses. Now this one actually has nicer paper. This is actually um, like pretty comparable to create space paper. So there's Belle and I also did Jasmine and Aladdin. Then we have Spellbinding Images Beginners Edition Volume 1 by Nikki Burnett. This is a grayscale coloring book. I have this one right here. These are so much fun to color with alcohol markers. I just I can't even tell you. <laughs> I actually think I might need to color one from in here tonight because there are just so many amazing pictures in here and they are a ton of fun. Marjorie Sarnat's Fanciful Fashions. So I have several works in progress in here and one completed. And it's just this bright and colorful outfit right here. Chibi Girls by Jade Summer. I have one completed in here. And it's this cheerleader. <laughs> I like the color of her hair. That turned out well. Okay, Zombie Girls. Woo, that one has a lot of completed pictures. Let's do that one last. Let's do this. Carousel Dreams, a carousel themed book by Yam Puff. There's one completed in here and it's the title page. And then, like I said, Zombie Girls by Deborah Moeller. There are a ton of completed ones in here, so let's just get started. 
I colored in the This Book Belongs To page. Now in her earlier books, they all had this same page, but I colored this one in all with glitter gel pens. I have this girl right here. She reminds me of Belle. She's like zombie Belle. <laughs> uh, the background on this is done with uh, Derwent ink tents, and then I colored her, this the whole thing? Actually the whole thing, except for her bow and eyeshadow and the dots on her dress. Those are gel pens, everything else is ink tents. And let's see, I skipped some here. I have this girl right here on crutches. She was fun to color. And I have this girl right here. I like the way this one turned out as well because I like that I did the black in here. And she was done with markers and colored pencils and gel pens. I also have this girl right here, the Bathing Beauty. <laughs> she was done, like this entire page was done with glitter gel pens. So you can just kind of see all that sparkly. I have this clown and again, I like the black background because the colors that I chose for her hair, that background, like her hair just really stands out, I think, with the black background. And then last but not least is this one right here, the birthday girl. So that is it, you guys. I feel like that was a lot of work. That was a lot of pages I showed you. Um, I have a lot more coloring to do because I have a ton of books and I'm getting new books all the time. So I have my work, out, my work cut out for me. But I wanna thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, you can let me know down in the comments and I will try to get back to you. And um, if you have any coloring flip throughs on your channel, let me know and I will be checking those out too. So thank you so much for watching guys. Please make sure to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. I would appreciate it. Thanks, see you next time.